Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Bitscap's brand new Buy the Dip Grid Bot, which allows you to accumulate profit in the coin of your choice. And in today's example, that will be BTC or Bitcoin, as I will be deploying the bot by the end of the video on BTC USDT. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one automated crypto trading platform and it is probably best known for its grid bots. And with that being said, you don't actually send any money to Bitscap. You essentially connect your exchange accounts to Bitscap like Qcoin, Binance, Coinbase, what have you, and thus allowing you to deploy their grid bots across a variety of different exchanges while keeping your money on the exchange where it is well as secure as it can be when being held by an exchange. They also offer demo trading so you can actually test out your grid bot strategy before submitting it to Wi-Fire and putting any of those funds at risk. Now you can get started for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, that will actually give you access to their pro plan, which has all the features like trailing up and trailing down. And that's the plan that I actually used. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a traditional grid bot or the buy the dip grid bot works, they actually work in a very similar fashion. They both buy low and sell high. And both grid bots are made up of open limit buy and sell orders. And those are represented on the chart that you're looking at right now in the green and red lines. The green lines are your open limit buy orders and the red lines are your open limit sell orders. So when the price dips or falls, the bot buys each time it hits one of the green lines. And then when the price reverses and goes back up and starts to hit the red line, the bot begins selling for profit and the best price action is when the price is range bound between an upper and lower price now the traditional grid bot performs best on a slightly trending upwards price action where the buy the dip grid bot will actually perform better in a bear market when the price is trending slightly down and so with that being said, the objective of the buy the dip grid bot is very similar to the traditional grid bot again as they both buy low and sell high. The essential difference between the two bots is how the profit is actually generated. The traditional grid bot generates its profit by increasing the quote currency while reducing the base currency being held. On the flip side, the buy the dip grid bot generates its profit by increasing the amount of the base currency held while reducing the average price of the base currency being held. So in today's video, I will be deploying a grid bot on BTC USDT. Now the first coin listed BTC of the trading pair is considered your base currency. The second coin listed USDT of the pair is the quote currency. And as I mentioned, a traditional grid bot will measure profit in the quote currency when the amount of, in this case, USDT held increases when the bot sells for profit. However, as I previously mentioned, the buy the dip grid bot will measure profit in the base currency, BTC in this case, when the amount of BTC increases. So again, the main difference is the traditional grid bot measures profit in the quote currency or USDT in this example, and the buy the dip grid bot will measure profit in the base currency, which will be BTC in this example, when the amount of BTC held actually increases. And so at the end of the day, the objective of the buy the dip grid bot is to accumulate more of your base currency or BTC in this example. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's jump over here to my Bitscap dashboard. And if you're new to Bitscap, you will need to connect your exchanges and you can just come up here to the top menu, click on my exchanges. That will bring you to a list of different exchanges that you can connect to Bitscap by pasting in an API key and the secret key that you generate over on your exchange. And your new exchange should show up in the list of exchanges. And now you're ready to roll and deploy a new grid bot. So from here, you would just come up to the top menu where it says start new bot. Give that a click. 
And you might see a similar menu that lists like the S-Bot Classic, Combo, and Scalper Bot. However, a couple days ago, Bitscap has a new version. And so you would just drop down to the bottom of this list to where it says switch to new version. Give that a click. And now you'll see a list that says Grid Bot, the Combo Bot, the Scalper Bot. And in this case, we just need to click on Grid Bot. Now after clicking on grid bot, you'll get another list. The first bot in the list is called flat and that appears to be one of your traditional grid bots that profits best when the price is fluctuating between a high and low price range. And I will create a video in the future on how to set up this particular flat bot. So now would probably be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. But the bot we're interested in today is their brand new grid bot called Buy the Dip. And you can see it's in beta mode. And beta mode means there could be some bugs and some hiccups. So deploy this bot at your own risk. Be sure to do, of course, your own recon. But my long-term experience with Bitscap makes me comfortable enough to deploy one of these bots today. And so I'm just going to give by the dip a click. And you'll get a message about how this is in beta mode. So I just need to click accept. And that'll bring you over to an introductory screen that says make profit in BTC. Run the bot to accumulate more and more base currency as the market moves down. If I click next. And of course, you can stop the bot at any time that you feel like it's time to just start hodling. And if you click next again, and then from there you can hodl, which in my opinion is a terrible strategy, but I'll save that for another video that I have coming up in the near future as well. Now, that's enough of this nonsense, so I'm just going to click on create bot which will bring me over to the parameters to actually set up this bot. And the first parameter is which exchange do I want to use? And in this case, we'll use Binance US. The pair I want to trade is going to be BTC USDT. Next, I need to determine how much ammo I want to give this bot to go into battle with. And in this case, if I wipe out the amount I actually have available on the exchange, I will receive a message telling me the minimum amount that is required to actually deploy this bot. And in this case, it's 600 and essentially $25. So I will start this bot with essentially the minimum amount, which is 625. Now, if I did not mention this earlier, these bots are best deployed when you expect the price to go down. Hence the name by the dip if you're expecting bitcoin to go up from say 40,700 that it's at right now you might want to deploy a traditional grid bot however if you're expecting bitcoin to actually go down that would give you the opportunity to buy the dip and accumulate more bitcoin at a lower price that is the objective of this grid bot so with that being said, I now have my exchange, which is Binance US. The pair is BTC USDT. The amount of ammo I have given this bot to go to battle with is $625. Now I need to select the trading frequency. And the trading frequency is basically how active this bot will actually be. It's essentially setting up the grid space, the space between the lines you see here on the screen. And so again, the space in between each one of these lines will be determined by whether or not you select slow, average, and fast. And we can see that the fast grid space is 0.3%, the average is 1%, and the slow is 3% spacing between each grid. So the price would have to actually move 3% before you actually hit one of these grids to either buy or sell if you select slow mode. And then if I select average mode, you can see that the grid space gets tighter and now it's 1% spacing between each one of these grids. And then in fast mode, you'll see an even tighter grid space. And now it's 0.3% spacing between each grid. And for those of you who are wondering what about fees, your fees are included in the grid spacing. And in reality on Binance, I pay 0.07% in fees for buy and sell or essentially 0.14% for a combined buy and sell order. And thus with the different grid spacing levels, there is profit being captured in addition to the actual trading fees. So if we start with the slow or the 3% grid space, Let's give that a back test and see what type of results we would have had, at least in the past. Now, keep in mind, 
past performance does not guarantee future results. So this back test information is really just doing a little bit of recon, but doesn't guarantee you actually have these future results. And as you can see, the three day result is not even a quarter percent per day. The 30 day results is less than 10%. Now I can adjust the trading fee to the 0 0.07 that I mentioned that I actually pay on Binance because I pay my fees in the BNB coin. And that did not actually increase my profitability at all. And so with that information, let's try the average grid spacing, which is the 1% grid space. Click on back test and the results slipped a little, not a lot, but a little. And so it looks like the slow is the best option so far, but we'll give the fast or the 0.3% grid space a back test and see what those results look like. Now those results did take a bit of a hit. So for me, it looks like the slow would be the option to go with for this particular pair of BTC USDT. Now in full disclosure, this is the first one of these bots I have deployed and it appears that I cannot actually adjust the upper or lower limit. Now it is my understanding that the trailing down feature is automatically enabled and unlike the traditional grid bot, it does not actually require any additional funds in order to continue to trail down and follow the price down if the price continues to dip below, for example, the current low price of around 34,700. Now it looks like the final parameter, since I cannot adjust the high or low price of this grid, appears to be add protection. So if I give that a click, I have the choice to take profit or stop the bot and the stop bot if profit has reached a certain level and if we click on that you can see I can stop the bot if it achieves a certain percentage of profit like 20% in this case I'm not going to set that up and then stop the bot if the price moves in a negative direction if we click on that. You can see if Bitcoin's price got up to around 48,300, which would be an 18% change towards the upside. Remember, this bot is looking to buy the dip. So when the price goes up, that would actually be considered negative for this type of bot. And so you could actually stop the bot once the price has reached a certain level towards the top side. Again, I'm not going to deploy that in this case. So I'm just going to click cancel. And that appears to be all the parameters that I can actually set up. I've selected Binance as my exchange. The pair is BTC USDT. I will be accumulating profit in BTC and the amount invested will be $625. I selected the trading frequency of slow, which has a 3% grid space versus average of 1% or the fast, which was 0.3%. Now I did do the back testing and past performance was best on slow. So that is why I selected the slow. Now the last few details are in sell orders, which is approximate amount of base currency in sell limit orders. And that'll be 0 0.00695 BTC in buy orders, which again is going to be the amount of the quote currency that I will actually have in buy orders. And that'll be 340 USDT. And then my remaining balance is a negative remaining balance. And that is because I do not currently hold Bitcoin over on this exchange. And therefore, when I deploy this bot, it will actually use some of my initial investment to buy Bitcoin at the current market price, which is around 40835 currently. And then the remaining balance is what is left on my exchange after deploying the bot. So I'm ready to preview this bot. So I just give preview bot a click. And now you will find the details. The bot type is a grid bot. Strategy is buy the dip. Exchange is Binance US pair BTC USDT. Profit currency is BTC. So I'm accumulating BTC. And then again, the sell orders and the buy orders. We just went over that. The number of grids, which again, I wasn't able to make any adjustments on, but the number level of grids is 11. The grid spacing or step is at 3% or the slow. The high price of this grid is 46,965. The high price mode is fixed. So it doesn't actually have trailing up. 
on this particular bot and I don't have an option to turn that on or off and then the low price is 34700 ish and the low price mode is trailing as I mentioned it will trail down the benefit of this one versus a traditional grid bot is you don't actually have to hold any additional funds on your exchange it doesn't actually require any additional funds from the exchange account to trail down so that's pretty much it let's get this bot deployed so I just come over here and click on confirm I do get the message that I need to go out there and buy that BTC. As I mentioned, since I don't hold any BTC, I need to accumulate a little bit of BTC in order to sell that BTC if the price moves up from the point of deployment. So I click confirm. You can see the market order was placed, market order was filled, and the bot has been successfully deployed. So I can click done. And if I scroll down, you can see I have my BTC USDT bot deployed live and active. And so that pretty much wraps it up. Now, I will do an update video in about 30 days. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that update video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And I will drop a link to BitScap in the description down below. And if you use my link, you will have access to the pro plan during your free trials. So in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.